All right, here we are coming up on 530. Hope your Friday's off to a great start. The early morning air is quite comfortable. Plan on a very nice day ahead and uh, dry skies for several days with warm but not overly hot temperatures. Early next week, we're going to have to deal with just a little bit more wind. Now today, we've got this cloud cover increase from south and west to north and east. Uh, less cloud cover for the northwest corner of the state, Four Corners area. Uh, most of us just enjoying some time in the shade with the clouds casting shadows. High 70s and 80s, some 90s in southeast New Mexico. But by 3 o'clock, between about 3 and, oh, let's just say 8 or so, uh, this northeast corner of the state up around Raton and Clayton could catch some thunderstorms, and there's a marginal severe weather risk for that corner of the state. The primary threats, damaging wind gusts and large hail, will dry out overnight and push a lot of that cloud cover back out of the state. Uh, lows will find their way back down in the 40s and 50s to about 60 degrees. So another comfy night. Saturday, a little warmer, a little afternoon cloud cover and a lower but not zeroed out storm chance for northeast New Mexico. Right now we don't have a severe weather risk area to point out for you in the northeast. Uh, that changes again on Sunday as a cold front squats into that corner of the state, setting the stage for breezier to windier conditions, but dry skies for most of the rest of us. Got Albuquerque at 88. Look at the temperature drop here in the northeast and the increasing storm coverage for that part of the state. Uh, we're back to dealing with the severe weather threat. Uh, looks like on Sunday afternoon and evening up around Chona Clayton as well, so we'll be watching for that. Here's your northwest New Mexico in Four Corners forecast. Uh, probably one of the sunnier, brighter corners of the state. It's upper 70s, lower 80s. We're dry and brighter tomorrow. Temperatures in about the same spot, a little warmer Sunday, and then temperatures drop a little bit early next week. Got your rain chances essentially zeroed out for the next seven days. Highs in the 80s every day as well. Southwest New Mexico, a couple spots of Virga can't be ruled out, but I would expect it to stay dry. Just shy of 90 at TRC in the Elephant Butte, Silver City at 76. Uh, with the brighter skies, we are looking, you know, five plus degrees warmer into the weekend and kind of hanging out in that same spot early next week. Here's southeast New Mexico again, watching for a few spots of Virga, but probably dry. Highs 90s today, but it's lower 90s. Note with the brighter skies expected for Saturday and Sunday, uh, we're getting close to 100 right now. We've got those highs just shy of 100 into the middle of next week, but by Wednesday and Thursday, we could be knocking on the door of some triple digits. Northeast New Mexico again, we've got that storm chance and severe weather threat up around Raton and Clayton. Probably dry for you in Las Vegas, high at 78, 79 tomorrow. Better storm chances will be seen on Sunday and Monday, and then another dry stretch for the middle of next week. North Central New Mexico, how about 70 to about 80 degree high temperatures, only around 70 in places like Red River. Uh, we're brighter tomorrow. Temperatures in about the same spot, kind of staying that way uh, through the weekend. A uh, little temperature dip early next week, but only a couple degrees. For the Albuquerque Metro, a day with more clouds around. A uh, high 84, that's five below average. A uh, spot of Urga can't be ruled out, you know, evaporating rain that kicks out a gust of wind, but I think that would be isolated. Uh, look at the dry and bright skies with the comfortably warm but not overly hot temperatures this weekend. We'll keep it below 90 and then drop those temperatures a little bit Monday, Tuesday, bump them up again Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday of next week. Uh, that right now looks to be the first 90 degree day of the year.